We use keyboard uh, before surgery and after surgery in two steps. Before surgery, uh, I'm making his operation plan, frontline design, donor determination, and then keyboard. Uh, first step is uh, scanning the head and creating a 3D scanning model of the head, and after that. Uh, start to scan the donor area, uh, recip uh, temporal area, parietal area, occipital area, scanning all different parts, uh, scanning the density of each area, calculated density, how many hair per follicular unit, and the caliber of the hair in different parts, temporal, parietal, occipital parts, uh, each follicle. Uh, before surgery, for the, after that scanning, in the postoperative part, uh, we are scanning the recipient area of the head, uh, how many follicles transplanted, uh, also the area, the density of transplantation uh, and after in the recipient part scanning we are also scanning the donor area after surgery, uh, how many holes we created while extraction, uh, the holes that we created while extraction are close number to the uh, transplanted for, uh, graphs so we can catch a uh, total transaction rate of the extraction. Uh, another part also, uh, keyboard is uh, determining the caliber of the holes at the back, the diameter of the holes at the back. So it will give you an idea uh, what the diameter of punch you use after surgery. Also the patient giving these all files to the patient and the patient will see all the statistics of the surgery. It's all clear. We develop a vision-based robotic system to perform some pre-op and post-op analysis for FU hair transplant operations. We named this system as Keybot. Keybot has two camera systems on it and a powerful processing unit. The first camera system is used to create 3D model of the head and allows us to determine route of the robotic system during the high resolution image captures. We use the 3D model of the head to measure area of certain regions on the head as well. The second camera system is equipped with a high resolution camera. We move the camera system using the robotic arm to cover whole head and at the end of this process we have more than 400 high resolution images. The total resolution of these images is around 8 gigapixel. After we have these raw images we perform many anal analysis using deep learning based algorithms. At the first step of pre-op analysis Keybot counts the number of follicles and number of hairs in each follicle. Additionally, we measure shaft diameter using another deep learning based approach which performs very accurate segmentation. Since we also have the area measurement coming from the 3D data, we can compute the coverage value for a whole head. By this way, total donor capacity of a patient is determined. Using this analysis, it becomes possible to plan whole surgery using Keybot. For the post-op analysis, we scan the patient after the surgery again. At this time, our deep learning based approach detects the number of extracted and planted follicles. Thus, it becomes possible to obtain total transaction rates. At the post-op analysis stage, Keybot computes the punch size as well. Hence, it is possible to obtain total scare area using Keybot. We trained our deep learning algorithms using thousands of manually labeled samples. As we include new samples every day to our training set, our accuracy increases day by day. 